There's a Puppets War miniature for pretty much everything. Spiky Bits. Welcome back Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to download and print out uh, the whole, any <laughs> pretty much, or all, uh, of the range of insectoid miniatures from Puppets War. Uh, these are pretty wild and they don't take a whole lot to download and print between their pre-supported files or their unsupported files and you can make your own supports kind of like we did um, but that's more of a different story because we kind of have to with the machines that that we have here but for the folks of you at home uh with the any cubic or you know the frozen or all, all those other machines that are super easy to go and you got all your settings dialed in you can just use the pre-supports and have it printed out super quick so let's take a look at all the different miniatures they put out over on their patreon uh and how easy it is to get them and just what all's involved from there you can get to their patreon page by just going to patreon.com forward slash puppets war miniatures and you'll see everything that they have going on over here or Conversely, you might get to hear from uh, their actual miniatures page, uh, PuppetsWar.eu, um, because once you go into all the digital products, you'll probably notice that uh, there is a substantial discount on the miniature files if you just want some one-offs, if you are part of their Patreon. So, you know, at 10 bucks a month, um, depending on how much you're printing out, it might definitely be worth it to you to get on their Patreon um, and then pick up some of the older stuff that you might be wanting. Now this month in May, you can see what well, looks to be a pretty interesting miniature up there. The I don't think it is called the Batmobile, but <laughs> uh, I would say it's definitely the orc version of the Batmobile. So 10 bucks a month. And then you can kind of see they give you all the information on um, all the different stuff coming out. There's some previews for the month. Of course, we're in May now, but I'm really just kind of they, they wanted me to talk to you about all of the uh, insectoid miniatures. So each month they do uh, kind of a varied release. So you're gonna have some alternative Marines, you're gonna have some alternative Tyranids, and you're gonna have some alternative Orcs as well. Maybe some bases, you can get the welcome pack and things. Um, that's always gonna be a free download. And they have some loyalty rewards. Remember they have uh, game free download files for that. Um, that it, it's all groups of miniatures, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then they do some previews and things like that just so you know what's going to come out. Now in April, uh, which was last month, these this was the lineup of miniatures uh, for them. So they're always going to have something for their big three, which I think is pretty cool because that's going to appeal to a lot of people. And I know, yes, some of you out there, you're like, well, where's my, where's my alternative Tau? Where's my alternative Eldar? I'm sure they're going to work on that at some point. They have great alternative designs uh, for just about everything already. So... You know, it's only a matter of time till we get that over on here. But you can see they're always coming out with some wild stuff, and it might be worth it to you just to kind of pick up this one. It's one of my one of my top favorite, uh, you know, uh, patrons out there that that we get on, and um, I'm gonna give this Batmobile a, a whirl here, uh, hopefully this week, and see how that one turns out. And I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. So I think for ten bucks a month, you know, and uh, the discount off the digital files over here or previous stuff that you might not have gotten that would allow you to kind of print out like the whole current range of one of these or all three of these alternative miniatures out there uh, for you so let me show you um what uh, i'm not going to show you how to print and how to do all your settings and stuff because there's tons of other people on youtube that do that a lot better but i'm going to show you what the printouts look like and you know detail wise and scale wise um to a uh 25 micron level so we'll start out with my personal favorite <laughs> and the one you're probably here to see. Uh, this is the Bug Blade Lord with uh, some styrofoam in there. <laughs> some packing material somehow made its way into there. I'm sure there's a cat hair or two. Uh, now this is printed to a 25 micron standard on a, oh gosh, I don't even know. I think this is an 80 mil base. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the 60 mil that you would expect, but I think this is going to be... Uh, a good base size for this guy right here and um, it is a bit of resin uh, you could do a little bit of work as far as like hollowing it out and stuff if that's your thing but I don't think it's really super necessary um, but I mean it all goes together super easy 
and uh, just makes a really good looking figure. Uh, it's my it's my favorite out of this whole line so far. And then there you can see the size uh, to a Space Marine uh, Primaris. And then we've got the big chonker right here, um, the big brain bug. Uh, this guy is on 130 mil base, and he is awesome. Like this this guy is something else. Now a lot of these have little plates that you can print out and pr and put over their head like robot plates. Uh, if you want like uh, control collars or something like that so you could I guess use them in some some other narrative and story driven things But uh, yeah, I mean there's so much space on here. The detail looks great You know, they've got the the six legs and everything the hexapods basically and you can really get in here and do a lot of fades and a lot of crazy stuff um, So they definitely understand how this stuff uh, is to be designed at this scale uh, next up is the guard bug and this guy is on a 50 mil base um, And there's a couple different arms and things you can print and we just kind of went with the gun because you could use it as perhaps a uh, Tyrant guard or, or a hive guard model if you wanted the shooty pew pews um, And like I said the detail work is you know, it's exquisite like there's so much room to do some sick fades or just do some like washes and base coats and things and the size is, is pretty appropriate you know like all this stuff is really really w well thought out and i'm really impressed by it um and then there's some um little spore bugs right here this guy is pretty creepy cool uh, i kind of like all the the styling and things of the little front and they have one uh, this is what it looks like these actually have a primer coat on them and this is what it looks like if you just want uh just the, the different face there. So they have lots of different versions of things as well and you can kind of mix and match parts if you want. And uh, obviously, you know, depending on how you print it out, it's gonna take a, a primer coat really well. You can use some self-etching primer depending on the resin you use, um, self-etching and sandable primer um, from Advanced uh, here in the States and that stuff's uh, pretty good to kind of fill in and, and get any gaps But I don't feel like you would need to do it on something uh, like this right here. I don't think um, Let's see next up. We've got uh, this little guy right here, which is um, I guess more of like an alternative to like a, uh, What's that guy the the spore mine? Um, uh, shooter the bio war uh, so it's just some, basically like a cannon bug I guess you could use it as a power of war too if you really want to really dig in the face and the positioning of the feet right there um, it's got a lot going on this is on a little bit bigger of a base it's on a 60 mil uh, just to get that uh, kind of you know everything in in the, the picture there and then you can kind of see how it scales up uh, to a uh, space marine this okay all right i take it back this is actually my favorite <laughs> this lictor bug um is pretty wild uh big sneaky bug is he's the the posing of this the dynamic like posture and uh just the makeup of this particular pose right here is just sick <laughs> like i just want to like throw some some uh paints on this and just I don't even play Tyranids I don't even have any Tyranids to compare it to but I love this guy here and I think of all the Tyranids uh, the old school uh, Carnifex Screamer Killer or perhaps the old school Lictor seeing those is what might have uh, got a lot of people into 40k back in the day um, this is on a 50 mil base as well uh, I don't think the existing lictors are but I feel like he just looks better on that particular base So we kind of went with that and then they've got some really good looking um, uh, you know uh, Counts as Carnifexes as well if you uh, if you want to go with something like that, they just call them the brute bug um, This one obviously has a blown out eyeball so you kind of get an idea who that might be with some DACA arms on it There's lots of options for these We just kind of wanted to show you know a couple different things and then if you wanted kind of the screamer killer version of it this guy looks great next to uh, the, the, uh, the boss bug here um, definitely sizes up pretty well to him and obviously this guy's gonna be gonna be the biggest and mr. Mr. Swarmy bug right there But I love this face right here and it's just got a lot going on with it And you can have different you can have claws you can have the sights just whatever you want They got different versions of uh, pretty much everything there and then when it gets down to uh, the nitty-gritty and all the little stuff uh, that you're gonna want they've got these guys here which would make uh, pretty good gene stealers I would uh, I would assume 
Um, these are the bug hybrids and there's a couple different versions of them and then you've got these guys here which you can use as uh, hormigants of course and that they're really really good looking and these are on 32 millimeter bases which I think the new ones might be on in 10th edition as well I'd have to go back and, and look but I remember thinking that those bases looked uh, looked a little bit bigger there um, so this is just the, the generic bug warriors pack you can kind of make anything out of these and you know slap them all together and print them, print them out and stuff and we showed you these in the past uh in some other puppet war videos here so you got the the uh, ravener bugs and the the uh, gargoyle bugs big winged bug warriors and then um i, I don't know i don't remember what the uh, the ravener versions are called here but they're uh, they're pretty sweet either way oh digger bugs that's what it was duh because of course they come out of the ground. So I'm, I'm loving the look and the feel uh, to all of these, to be quite honest with you. And I think they make great count stands or stand-ins for uh, your next uh, um, tabletop project. So don't forget, uh, you can get all of these miniatures from a Puppets War, these miniature files, uh, from puppetswar.eu, or you can jump over to their Patreon and sign up uh, for that and get all sorts of uh, cool designs uh, every month delivered to your uh, MMF, I believe it is, uh, shared with you, ready to go, so you don't even have to worry about cataloging uh, the stuff anymore. And, you know, I think it goes without saying, if you're looking to make uh, a Tyranid army with these miniatures, uh, they look a lot better than a lot of the Games Workshop sculpts out there. Even seeing some of the 10th edition stuff, I think I think there's some good stuff in there and some bad stuff in there. And unless they're they're planning for a big revamp of the line uh, completely across the board, I mean, these miniatures are, in my opinion, a lot better than some of the stuff Games Workshop has out there. Now, Games Workshop makes some really great miniatures, but from time to time, you know, you got to you got to keep your your options open and think about uh, some other stuff out there. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with little counts as and having a little cool things that are either out of stock because uh, we all know how that goes. Or perhaps just something that looks a little different, like that really dope lictor bug um, instead of getting something that's like 20 or 30 years old. So that's it for this one. Think about uh, Puppets War for all your uh, alternative miniatures and counts as uh, miniatures need and uh, check them out today. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.